Hello, this is Jason Heretic PB of Gaming Centrum, um, and I got a comment uh, about how to show game capture. Uh, this was a few days ago. Uh, I was on vacation at that point, so I didn't even check or look. Uh, but they wanted to see a game capture, um, and apparently they have problems with the window. Uh, I did suggest a display capture, which can work, uh, but as with what I said with the previous videos, it just depends on the game. Uh, in this case, he's saying League of Legends. Uh, fortunately, I don't play that game, so I can't really show anything about that, uh, but I can go through and show um, what you can do for game capture. Um, now how this is set up, uh, it's going to show game capture and display capture, uh, but this is the only way that I can actually record what I'm doing right now. And uh, let me just go ahead and, and do that. Um, but uh, it's by this guy, person. I don't know if it's a guy or not, or a girl, sorry. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to bring this over here. So you can see the full thing. Hopefully you can see it because it is kind of small. But anyway, I have display capture on so I can record what I'm doing here. And game capture is on, which is uh, basically this little red box here. Uh, so if I have a game open, it will come up here. But uh, what you would do is uh, with game capture, usually you won't have this second one here. Uh, or you may have other content depending, uh, like pictures or whatever else. Uh, but you go in here and you right click on properties. And what I'm going to be using is Raymond Origins as a test. But you would basically say capture a specific window. And this doesn't matter if it is in window or full screen when you do this. I found that this one doesn't work as well. At for a lot of things um, and I really haven't messed with this one but this one typically works you set it to this and what you got to do is you have to open the game first before you will see it in this list um, now I've been testing Raymond Origins uh, previously so that's why it is there um, what I have typically checked is this if you have multiple display cards uh, I believe that's what it means, uh, but I have that checked. Uh, everything else is default. Uh, allow transparency is off. Uh, I messed with it a little bit. And what it does is it allows the this game capture to show the background um, around certain objects. It's weird and interesting, at least with uh, Raymond. It was weird. Uh, you do not want to limit capture frame rate. Um, if you want to capture your mouse, you can check this, um, but uh, you don't have to select that. Some games will need you to check this anti-cheat compatibility hook. Uh, basically, it allows you to record without the game thinking it's a cheating program. And uh, this was added fairly recently, but allows you to capture overlays, uh, such as in Steam and Uplay and Origin. Um, it'll actually record like the screens, um, like the uh, Steam chat and web browser and stuff like that. Uh, but it's really simple, um, to be honest. But uh, if you've watched the other video, you know about the other settings. Um, but I'll go in here real quick and just uh, show what it is set to. Uh, and this is the settings at 50 meg, high quality, high level auto. Uh, it's using the NVIDIA recording. Um, and I did, I found out some interesting information here about the audio software. Um, I actually can limit it down to just one program. Before it was going through virtual audio, uh, well, not virtual audio cable, but uh, voice meter banana. Uh, but now I figured it out where you just use this uh, program here uh, it's called uh, I believe it's it's I uh, well it's down here it's mini host modular uh, and it's a program that you can have to get through fruity loops uh, forums 
and you have to register and all kinds of things. But it's actually a good program. You can actually move background noise. But uh, everything else is default. Uh, I did bump the resolution up, not the resolution, uh, frame rates. Um, but yeah, it's all pretty much default from the other video. Uh, but let me go ahead and jump into Steam here and get Raymond up. And give me a moment there to uh, readjust it. So you might have saw it full screen there for a moment. But uh, it is currently in a window. Um, it allows me to um, have it so it shows the background as well as the game. So. Typically, you won't have the display capture in the background. It'll just be like a full display of the game like that. Um, and I'll just shrink it down so you can see. And that's weird that it's showing transparency behind it. But anyway, um, so let me go ahead and just do a little test here. And that's really all you have to do. It's not that hard. But uh, let me play a bit of the Rayman here. Uh, it's Rayman Origins. I'll just play the first level. I've already played the level over and over, but... It's a jungle out there. Like I said, and you can... It can be full screen like this. And I adjust it. Now this is running in Windows, so it may not be as high quality. Uh, it is at 60 frames anyway, but... And typically if it's full screen, you don't have to have it in a window. It'll work. And typically on this level, you won't have um, punching and whatnot, because it... Uh, it makes you learn the game, pretty much. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just missed all of my... Well, not getting those. For some reason, it's really... Since I already have, you know, punching and stuff, I can do things, but... Ooh. Gotta love them redheads. Yay! Sorry. Um, now, obviously, this isn't a very demanding game. Uh, cause it pretty much just locks 60 frames. But, you get the point. I forgot on this level how... Yeah, it doesn't allow. Mm. I'll just play out this level here. Thank you. 
Okay, so yeah, you pretty much get the point there. Um, again, just to reiterate on the information, you capture a specific window, uh, you open your game, then you select your game, and uh, multi-adapter compatibility on and overlays on. And depending on your game, uh, you have to use this. Uh, I would say most of the uh, first-person battlefield type games, uh, online games, stuff like that, you yeah, probably might want to check that. Um, other than that, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, if you like this uh, little tutorial review type thing, uh, please give a like, uh, subscribe if you like, make a comment, complain, whine, appreciate the video, um, whatever else. Take a look at uh, my affiliate links. Uh, if you like, you can buy things through my affiliate links. Uh, it gives me a little income to buy games and do other things and whatnot. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.